Welcome back to Fox and Friends. First five years after the attacks in Benghazi that killed four Americans, including Ambassador Christopher Stevens, two security contractors are breaking their silence. Yeah, they say they were pressured to keep quiet by the Clinton State Department because they knew too much. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has this exclusive report. Was the State Department contract officer trying to silence you? Oh, absolutely. The U.S. ambassador is dead and nobody is held accountable for it. And three guys who tried to defend him all died. The people who made the poor choices that actually, I would say, were more responsible for the Benghazi attacks than anyone else, they're still in the same positions, making security choices for our embassies overseas now. Jerry Torres, a former Green Beret, is the president and CEO of Torres Advanced Enterprise Solutions, which supplies security for U.S. embassies and consulates around the world. And along with Brad Owens, a former Army intelligence officer, they have more than 45 years of service. Speaking exclusively to Fox, they have firsthand knowledge of the security nightmare on the ground in Benghazi, Libya, before the 2012 terrorist attack. In the spring of 2012, Torres bid on the security contract for the State Department compound in Benghazi. But the nearly $700,000 deal, handled by State Department contracting officer Jan Visentainer, went to a mysterious foreign company, Blue Mountain Group. The guards were local hires through another company and not armed. This classified cable, first reported by Fox News, shows that by mid-August 2012, Ambassador Stevens and his team knew they were in trouble, warning the State Department that radical Islamic groups were everywhere. It was a disaster. They were sending these cables back to the contracting guys and the decision makers back here and they weren't responding. It's gross incompetence or, or negligence, one of the two. They came back to us and said, can you guys come in and take over security? So we were ready. I mean, you know, unfortunately, 12 days later, the ambassador was killed. After the attack, emails show Blue Mountain was advised not to talk. Torres and Owens claim they got the same order, and the State Department contracting officer, Visentainer, went further. What did the State Department contract officer say? Uh, she said that uh, I and people from Torres should not speak to the media, should not speak to uh, any officials with respect to uh, the Nagazi program. The State Department declined our request to make Visentainer available, and the men allege repercussions have continued against their company. Since that conversation, we bid on 20 security force contracts for U.S. embassies and lost 18. Do you feel more comfortable coming forward now because there's been a change in administration? Given that the politics has been taken out of the Benghazi situation, now that there's no longer a candidate or anything related to it, we have an opportunity here to fix the problems that made it happen. In Washington, Katherine Herridge, Fox News.